Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Oh, I have something I want to try today, but I wanted to show you um, how this turned out, the calendar collage where I, I uh, went back over it with just a thin layer of Mod Podge with a little bit of watered down yellow acrylic paint and it also had probably a teaspoon of baby powder um or you could use cornstarch anyways it feels it always feels kind of like vinyl or a thin la leather or something but it was <laughs> it was looking too yellow so i sprayed it with a little bit of my um distress inks tim holtz uh, i did the um, I don't know if that's Walnut or Vintage Photo Ink. And then there I had a blue one. So um, I don't know if you can even see. But I did Mod Podge over this and it did dull it down a little bit. So I like that. Um, here's a contrast to the shine. So anyways, so that's another fun thing about this calendar collage is that, you know, you can do, you can try different finishes on it you know just see what you like probably should write myself a note as to what each finish is but anyways i wanted to show that to you so i am going to set that over here out of the way my desk is still a mess i haven't washed it i need to um today a friend dropped off a ton of avon bags avon sacks that she had bought and no longer uses um i guess she had been years and years ago had been a we call them Avon ladies. I don't know. I guess a representative or something. Um, and so she gave me those bags. So that's going to be fun. So I thought today I'm I'm going to do the Joey mashup challenge. Uh, mashup Joey. And it's Joey card maker. And I'll put the link in the description. I'm using his beautiful mashup papers. These are the freebies blush blossom blush freebie from joey if you go on to his kofi um you'll see this as the image it's so beautiful so i wanted to i just wanted to do a no so something and so i'm gonna give this a try i don't i i haven't ever seen this anywhere um which will probably be obvious that this has not been worked through and I think I'm going to have to cut these down too. But what I did was I put three lunch bag, lunch uh, sack size together. Just one inside the other like that. And then on the last one, um, here's the last one, the bottom one. I inverted one and put it through. And my thought with that is, is that when this all folds up, this will fold like this and that will fold like that. And then we'll put uh, maybe a um, an eyelet here and, and wrap it. That's the thought. So basically what I'm going to do is just glue a little bit. I want to glue this down here. Get that situated. Again, I don't know. Um, there, there could, you know, it's a trial and error as most things are with me. So we'll see. But I just wanted to try something. Um, no, so. Okay, so there's that. So that one's uh, glued in. And then um, I'll need to keep this handy because we're going to be using it a lot. So what I did with Joey's papers, I'll show you here, is I folded them this way. So this is one of his freebies. Isn't it gorgeous? I folded it this way and then um, I cut it down the middle to make, you know, um, two little pages. So it's basically just this, you know. And um, yeah, so that's what I did. So I cut I cut down the middle and made pages. Um, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them two by two because my thought was at first that I would 
put them together and then sew them, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try to do a no sew, completely no sew. Uh, but I do feel like I'm going to have to trim because what my plan is, is to use these ends as a hinge, these bag ends as a hinge. And so I'll put that there. And it looks like, it looks like I might need to take a quarter of an inch off. But the only reason I'm hesitant to do it, I need to, let's see. Uh, I guess I better go ahead and cut them. Um, the reason I, I'm kind of hesitant is because the top and the bottom are not going to be the same, I don't think. Again, we'll see. I mean, I've got my lace out over here, too, so uh, lace is really great for any errors. <laughs> okay, so I think I need to take off about a quarter of an inch on this one. Okay. So then that, yeah, that's about right. So then that one's going to tuck in there, and I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. Now, if you wanted to sew it in or figure out another way to do it, you could easily use these as little pockets as well, but um, that I'm not going to do that with this. I'm going to use the other, the other side as pockets. These really thin paper bags have such a fun crunch to them. Okay, so there's one, and then this one's going to go on top. Um, and so it needs, it needs about a quarter of an inch taken too. So I'm going to just line them up like this. Hopefully. I may have to trim that a little bit I'm not sure what happened but something did happen I I had such a hard time um, making all my papers even this time I don't know what I did that one just may be crooked Okay, I'll figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and glue it. And you could also, you know, make these into pockets and, and such. But I think what I'm going to do is just glue it. Glue it closed. I'm going to use this for the... I go around it like that this could be a complete bust but if nothing else it's fun <laughs> so we'll see okay all right so there's there's one side okay I gotta keep my I want to keep these together Okay, so that goes down. Now this one's going to join onto, onto this. Okay. Oh, I've had such a good day, but I tell you what, I have resisted a nap all day long. I mean, if you go back a few videos, I talk about where how I never take a nap. Well, I am thinking about changing that situation. Okay, let's see. Does that fold good? Let's. We can always put some vintage photo or something over it. You know, like right here. I don't. I don't like that. That's that's too obvious. So I am going to trim that down. 
I think once we get the hang of it, it's going to go fairly smooth, fairly quick. I should say not, maybe not smooth, but quick. All right. So there's one. Now there's my little pile here. Here's another one. I think I'll go this way. I'm just is that one gonna be too tall? Yeah, it looks like they're all about about a quarter of an inch. That one's quite a bit taller. Now, if I did get it too short, I'm not I'm I'm not worried about that because if that's the case, then I will um, if I get it too short, then I'll add like the lace and stuff, which I think I'm going to do anyways. So so I'm just putting this right down into that fold. And this on the top part. Just a simple little journal. Um, this one, I'm actually wanting to just send to a friend who's... Um, daughter is getting married kind of as a mother of the bride little journal to tuck things you know or to write things about whatever's going on be fun <clears throat> I had so much fun when my daughter got married she definitely knew what she wanted and didn't want and um, her husband was going into the army and he ended up getting called um, before their wedding date so we Thankfully, my daughter had already decided everything that she had wanted, and we had already bought the dress and everything. And so she, um, over, literally overnight, I think we, I think he found out on a Saturday or a Sunday, and they were married on a Tuesday. And, um, man, we had so many friends come together to help put things together, and uh, she had different flowers because the flowers that she had picked were for, uh, the seat, you know, when she was going to originally get married, but she was like, I don't care about any of that. All I care about is, um, marrying him. So, which I love that. So it was really wonderful, but we had, you know, we had had so much of the stuff already picked out when I say we she <laughs> um and it was just so fun to have all that you know time together okay now now this one For some reason this isn't looking just exactly right but I think it is we'll see so let me cut that a little bit better. So I had thought about doing something different with Joey's. Um, and then my friend stopped by today with these fun bags. And I was like, oh, that looks like a fun idea. So I decided to do this instead. Now, let's see. This is going to work. 
Again, I think it's about a quarter of an inch. But yeah, just, and then after the wedding, you know, I had all these little receipts and, you know, different things and um, kept them. So it's nice to have a little place to tuck all that stuff, you know. Okay. Yeah, we were quite concerned, you know, it was during a time when, you know, a lot of our young men and women were having, heading to Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and uh, my son-in-law went off to uh, um, Iraq, and, uh, you know, it was just uncertain times. We're super grateful that and blessed that he was able to come back to us. He's a wonderful, wonderful man, and I'm just tickled to pink to have him as a son of mine. A lot of, I often think if I had had a son, um, I'd, I'd hope that it would, he would be a lot like my son-in-law. He's very, very funny, very, very thoughtful. So, he's a very good daddy and husband. Alrighty, now let's see this. Okay. It's funny how you get off onto a different subject, but just by, you know, like I'm putting this together for a friend whose daughter is getting married, and it makes me think, it makes you think about, you know, when your children get married. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. I think we're, we have some more to do, but let's take a look. Okay. So this is going to go... And then this is going to go like, like this, and this is going to go like that. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Um, okay, so we have that, and then this I wanted to, this is also a little page, but um, I think it were so I've already folded that so that gonna be back here no let's see It could be back there. I gotta, I gotta get my bearings here. Okay, so we're gonna have this like that. Um, I think this needs to be tacked down right here. This is part of the part that. Um, this other sack is connected to. I mean, it could be a kind of a fun little something you could make, but I think for today, I want to just um, put it down. Uh, these could be wonderful pockets for little receipts, which is what I was thinking about. So we'll just cover those and then. Um, this could make a pocket. It's not very big, but I think it could work. All right, let's see here. Well, let's turn it over and see what needs to be.
strapped down and I think this is going to need to need to be glued. I just want to keep checking to make sure everything's going to fold right for closure. Make sure it's not slipping. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to uh, yeah, let's see. Yes, I am going to glue these down. You probably could figure out how to use this for a pocket or something, but I am just not too sure about it. Okay, so I'm going to get that down. And then this... I put a pocket here. I probably should put paper back there first. This, we'll see, can we use this? Yeah. That fold will just go under the pocket. I'm going to use my glue book off to the side here since I've got so much on this desk. Off to the side here. So Joey went to a men's breakfast this morning at church. And uh, so a friend came over and I made us... Um, breakfast that was nice we just sat and chit chatted and uh that was fun there's that quarter of an inch i didn't cut did i <clears throat> so she stayed for a little bit and then they went to the lake and joey um invited me to go garage sailing which is very difficult to pass up and uh, so we did that for a little while Uh, super fun. Okay, now, and then, and then we'll put one here, too. I love this one. I just feel like I want to save it, though, for something, like, on the front or something. But let's see what else. So we could do maybe this again. Or, how about this? Remember I, I did it large? <laughs> I wanted to do it larger. So, let me just cut that. So, we went garage sailing. Super fun. Found a few goodies, of course. Always. There's a lady that... I've been to her garage sale bef her garage sales before, and I never remember where we're at. You know, we wind around... And I'm, it's never like, oh, I think we're in this lady's neighborhood. I forget every time. But the second I walk into her um, garage, I remember she does estate sales. And so um, she has the garage set up the same every time. So example is she always has like a bookcase like a book sh or a shelf, I guess I should say. She has a shelf sitting in the same place with things on it. And then she has um, a glass case inside for like um, jewelry and things. And as soon as I walk up and I see those, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this place. <laughs> um, and she's always, I don't know, we just seem to come at the right time where she's like, I want it gone. So she's... She really is, does some inexpensive, does a, you know, really good deal. And she's like, um, I'll give you the repeat customer discount. It was like, awesome. Which was funny as a garage sale person. <laughs> so what did I get there? I got some children's books, some very old children's books. 
children's books um, from long ago, um, there's some things that, you know, we had in children's books that really aren't appropriate, you know, anymore. I mean, they weren't appropriate then, but do you know what I mean? Like they were things that, um, they're just not what I would use. So those pages I will definitely take out and not use. Um, I had no idea they were even in there. I wouldn't have even bought the book. I just saw it and it was a good price. And I thought, oh, that's cute. The cover of it. <clears throat> so, uh, so books, um, I got some ironstone. I have an ironstone collection. Uh, I got some cute little children's um, plates, you know, from a tea set. And those are fun to use. I'll probably use them to sort buttons and stuff. Um, what else did I get? Most everything is coming into the thr to the thrift store. <laughs> yeah, this place is like a thrift store. Most everything is going to come into this craft room. I got some chalk paint and stuff. I got some chalk paint the other day at a garage sale for a dollar a thing. And I just thought that was a steal. And sh this girl had hers for 50 cents for a big, a big jar of it. And, um, she also had some a Mod Podge for fabric. I had never used that and it was brand new. It had never been open 50 cents. So I'll have to try that. Okay. This is feeling nice and fun, you know. Okay, so I made a pocket here. I've got a pocket here. A pocket here. Debating on whether to keep the gussets on that or not. I might. Now let's put something here, too. Hmm, I can't decide. Do I want to keep those like that? Or do I want to glue them down? I almost feel like I want to glue them down. Maybe we put um, another piece right here. What to put? What to put? Uh, how about this one? Got it way up here, so maybe we put it way back here. Garage sale. Then we had, uh, there was a um, food truck set up that had barbecue. Well, you could smell it a mile away. Um, so we got some barbecue for dinner, so that'll be later. And... Uh, They had a sign that said turkey legs. And I was like, yes, that sounds delish. I love turkey legs. But you know how much they were? $18 each. Now, he said they were big turkey legs. But I got to tell you, I don't think I would pay $18 for a turkey leg, if even if it was like a Fred Flintstone turkey leg. You know what I mean? I just couldn't bring myself to it okay now let's take a quarter of an inch off of that so anyways we'll have that for dinner joey is at a um hot wheel show so i'll be excited to hear back here when he gets back what how that went still a little bit this is what happens when you don't measure beforehand. You're just back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I need that much. I think I just need to here. Okay. 
Yeah, so he'll be home, so, oh, probably in another hour or so. Let's see, yeah. And he usually stops in on, on these days once a month when he goes to the show. He stops at a little burger joint in, in the town that he's in and, and brings that back for us, which is fun. Um, but he was craving, well, you couldn't help but crave it because... <laughs> You couldn't, I mean, you were smelling it all, basically all through town. And uh, they're parked outside of Walmart and Joey wanted to run to Walmart. So, couldn't help it. I think I'm going to do this. And I had a nice uh, phone call with a really good friend of mine, probably one of my oldest friends. Uh, we were best friends in kindergarten. So that's a long time ago. Um, so we were on the phone for like 45 minutes, <laughs> chatting, chatting it up. Okay, so this is where I think we're going to go ahead and make pockets. How are we doing on time? Oof. The rest of it's going to pretty much be decorating, so I may do that off camera. And then I'll put it on my Pinterest and my Facebook, our Pinterest and Facebook. <laughs> I'm the only one that puts anything on it, but it's ours. <laughs> Come on now, don't get too crooked on me. Okay. I'm kind of wasting a lot of this pretty paper, which I didn't intend to. All right, let's double check it here. Oops. These bags have there. It's not waxy, but it. It has kind of a finish on it, so um, I have had to re-glue a couple of times so far. So hopefully this art glitter glue will begin to stick on it. All right. <clears throat> okay, now we have this. This and this. Hmm. I think I want to make it a pocket, so. So this is going to go to there. Let's see here. And I need a quarter inch off. <laughs> It is so unseasonably, for me anyways, it seems unseasonably cool. It's only in the 70s. I think we had a like one day in the, I mean, it's been in the low 80s and 70s. Unbelievable. 
for being, you know, this far into August, I think. And, um, I love it. And I keep thinking it's going to rain. I mean, it's been so cool. I'm going to go over here and glue this real quick. It's been so cool and a tiny bit overcast, actually. It just feels like it could rain. And I'm really happy about that. My my flowers are just not doing so good. The whole front garden's a disaster zone. And my the ones that I have in pots, some of them are sticking with it. But the other ones are just like, eh, I don't know if we're going to last this summer or not. You know? And I'm like, stay. Stick it out. You can do it. But a lot of the blooms are gone and they're not coming, you know, they're not reblooming, kind of like my petunias are just not doing well. And they're they're all the kind of that are supposed to um oh what's it called? Like drape out, you know. And um so it's it's like, why aren't you guys behaving? <clears throat> I think that'll look pretty. Let's do that. Yeah, so it's it's just not and and I thought at first it's so hot, maybe it's because it's been so hot. July was very hot and um <clears throat> excuse me. And you know, I've been watering them and because I kind of wonder if the pots just dry out so much, you know, so I've been watering them. And then I thought, gosh, am I overwatering them? Should I give them a day break and then you know nothing just seems to be exactly working well so and i've been uh, i started giving them um plant food every other week now i am a slight bit behind on that because uh you know i was gone to my grandchildren's but i think well anything is better than nothing so this week they'll all get fed again Okay. And then again, all this imperfection, I'm going to go over it with distressing probably and also um, put some, maybe some embellishments there too. Okay. So I'm going to just glue that down. So the writing space on this is going to be like just wherever, you know, you can find a spot to write. But also um, the cards that will be put in here and some writing paper, some maybe some coffee dyed paper or something like that. Okay, so there's that. Is it all sticking together? Okay, here's, here's a little gap here. I really, when I was gluing, I was like, I have no idea where to glue, but now I see where to glue here. I'll go on the other side too, and do it the same. Watch me uh, then go in to open some of these pages, and I've just glued all the pages down. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's going to work. So what I'm going to do now is, is there any other place? I guess this part we could, we could do. Um, and I think I'm going to do it in this flower. I think that'll be pretty. The whole thing is 
Just all these colors together, I think. They're so pretty. Okay, I think if I glue that there, then I can myself come back and clip off what's needed. Clip off. This little guy might give me trouble. So let's glue that down. And then... Um, I think I'm going to distress off camera because, I mean, you know how fun that is to watch. So I think I'm going to distress off camera. But I may come back on camera to do some more. We'll see how it goes. But I'll definitely show you the finish of it. Okay. And I'm going to cut some of that off of there. <clears throat> this little bag has a corner that didn't come out on the bag here but it's been glued in that way so there's nothing I can do about that that the little lace won't cover up All right, let's take a look now. So you have your journal. We're going to put a little guy there. After I decorate, we'll put a guy there. String. You unstring it. Flip. Flip. Pocket. 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 Double pocket. Turn. Little pocket. Paper. Pocket, paper, pocket, paper, ta-da. Okay, so I think that is, I think that's going to work. So I want to say thanks to my friend Sarah for hooking me up with these bags. Just glue this down too. Anywhere I see an opening, I'm going to just glue it. Um, yeah, Sarah, thank you so much. It was good to see you. Thank you for bringing these bags over. All right. What else is needing to be? That's probably needing it too. So today I am mashing up Joey Cardmaker with his Blossom Blush with my friend Sarah's Avon bags. <laughs> it's kind of like introducing Sarah to Joey. How I feel about it. Boy, they would really get along too. They're both, I feel like they're both very, 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 very thoughtful and very funny. So I think they would get along really well. If they knew each other in the real life. Okay. It is a little thick in spots, but that's okay. Probably could, you know, cut some of this extra layering out with the bags but gosh if you're going to do that you might as well just use a use paper put your paper together okay that's all done does it still work does pockets still work yep okay all right good cool thanks everybody Thanks for hanging out with me and um, working through this no so bag journal. And um, I'll probably do another video, maybe, you know, like I said, kind of working on it. And then uh, just post a picture of the final. Yeah. So, 
All right. I hope you have a great day. And don't forget, we pray blessings over you. And we want you to know you're so loved. We'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.